I've been married for 51 years. Got two sons. Needed to take a test. Found out something interesting. They my kids. Okay, let's start the session. What is up, guys? Welcome to another video. Should it be mandatory to take a DNA test before you sign the birth certificate? That is today's viewer question. There's somebody else's. I do wish I knew who the real fathers were. And they ain't the same. She was bopping a couple of different guys. I mean, I stayed with her for the sake of the children. I've been in court thousands of times in paternity suits. And four out of five times, guy says he ain't the daddy, he's right. I'll go home, start drafting up some divorce papers. I'll need to go get your own paternity test. And here we go again. But this time it's coming from a judge that's been married for over half a century. He needed his sons to get tested for a kidney transplant. And in doing so, he discovered that both of his sons do not belong to him. Both of them. Now look at the age of this man. He said he's gonna go home and draw up divorce papers. Imagine getting divorced at that age because you find out the children that you've loved for 40 plus years are not yours. And this man also has grandchildren and great grandchildren. None of them share his DNA. So imagine becoming 70 plus years old and you think you have a whole legacy built of all these people that are now here on earth because of your DNA, but it's not. And he even alluded to the fact that both children might have also come from different men. Imagine that. In his video, he also stated that he presided over thousands of paternity cases. A person which goes through this, you should fear a person like that, bro. Because you, you kill any emotion any love anything that he had any connection that he had to the world you kill it directly there as men we've all gone through this not that specifically and i pray to god that i never ever have to experience that because that that's a that's a different pain that's a different thing so what when you first find out like your girlfriend's cheating on you like every man has been through that scenario or maybe not every man but most of most men have been through that scenario when you find out for the first time you know when you're you look at the world as such a beautiful place then you figure out like oh shit like the world isn't this beautiful and actually some of the people which the most nefarious people are the people which are closest to you the people which you lay beside those are the people which can hurt you the most we see the rise of the incels and a lot of people are like, why do men hate women? Why do men hate women so much? Now, before y'all start calling me a pick Misha, and yes, Misha is my name, and I'm really upset about that. Anyway, that's besides the point of this okay. video. Um, yes, I believe that DNA tests should be mandatory for men, all men, including married men. And just to piggyback off of sister's video, when my baby daddy asked me for a DNA test, I didn't care. Mm. It didn't offend me. You know why? Because mm. I knew he was the baby daddy. Yeah, but and that's true. I mean, if you know it's the baby daddy, why should you be offended? You should just be able to prove it. He did know he was the baby daddy, right? I feel like if you offended by a paternity test, nine times out of ten, you yeah. just fuck somebody else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you may not know who the baby daddy is. It's at least a toss-up. Because I knew with both of my kids that my baby daddies was the fault. Yeah, but a lot of girls, they gaslight you. That is the definition of gaslighting a man. 18 years taking care of a kid which isn't yours. And then when you find out, she starts to cry. I'm so sorry, I didn't, I didn't know how to tell you. You didn't know how to tell me. Just so you guys know, paternity tests, you can't trust these 
it's whatever you were gonna need her consent because you need a dna sample from her too the way it works is they do the analysis and it'll show what markers the baby has see which ones they got from you and which ones they got from the mother so you're gonna need her consent it's hard to argue not doing it because we live in a time where we have the technology to be sure that your kids your kid why wouldn't you do that i've decided that i have to i like knowing that my kid's my kid and being certain and then following science to know that for sure if this is something you want to do make the decision that you're going to do it before you meet her before you have the kid of course she's gonna try to guilt trip you you don't really love me you don't trust me blah, blah, blah. it's like no no no. it has nothing to do with you lady i was always gonna do this i expect it to be a tough conversation but you make a decision you stick with it and that's where i'm at don't get me started on the whole marriage thing either the license part you can get rid of that you can get the ring and maybe not the paper you can get the rock but you're not gonna get the paper oh that's a fucking dope line <laughs> Shit. so here's the update on the white couple who seemingly gave birth to an aesthetically full black baby that shocked the world and went viral because folks were in awe trying to figure how this is possible and then started to accuse the baby father of not being the biological father. He thought he was so he was seemingly excited to have been the father but social media you know convinced him otherwise and tried to make his vision more clear and kept telling him to look past being in love with his fiance and to really just look at the baby. So his excitement post and making it his profile picture with his newborn then turned to posts that say have you ever had the feeling that everyone is laughing at you and then he removed the baby from his profile picture which prompted the baby mother to publicly issue her ancestry DNA test results, which shows that she is 1% black. Cameroon, Congo, and Western Bantu people to be exact, which is located in Africa, so that's why her baby, their baby, looks like that. And as y'all can see, it's a beautiful baby. And actually, the baby looks just like her, but a different skin tone. Am I lying? And I want to thank y'all for letting me know what the scientific term for it is called, you know, when your genes can skip around or whatever. And it's basically the throwback gene, aka atavism. I don't know, guys. Um, my guess is that she cheated and just doesn't know how to tell him that she cheated because what are the odds? 1%? What are the odds? Yes, I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe. Maybe I'm an imbecile and don't really know what I'm talking about. But if I were to put money on it, I think that she cheated and she just doesn't know how to tell him. So she's playing along. It's going to be very interesting to watch this on live television. I'm going to do a reaction to the video. So leave it in the comment section what you guys think about it. Yeah, I don't know. This one is difficult. And that in four out of five of those cases, that the father was not the biological father. Four out of five. We need more laws protecting men from this maneuver. This is fraud and should be taken quite seriously. Much like the cuckoo bird that lays an egg in another bird's nest in order to dupe the host into raising the hatchling as their own. Far too many women are doing the same to men. I'm gonna say it again. Get your kids swapped, guys. As this judge said in the longer version of his video, you cannot go by looks. If this judge had found out earlier, he could have left her, remarried, had his own children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and built an authentic legacy. I doubt for a moment this judge would have ever thought he would be on this side of the fence. Duplicitous behavior is rampant, and you don't want to become the victim of that. Should it be mandatory for paternity tests to be taken before the birth certificate is signed? Hell <laughs> yeah, you are not. Yes, uh... you are not. Yes, you are not. Yes, 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 ladies. Do you know how many men are still paying child support for kids they found out that wasn't theirs? Mm. It should be every single time a human being is brought into this world yeah one in three people that get a dna test are not the father yeah and those are only the people that get a yeah. dna test so you're scared little mama been giving that pussy out in that three days you may be sad then or look up at 19 years later and know you wasted 19 years of your life fella hell yeah you need to get a blood test that second i'm probably gonna get a lot of flack from women for this but um it's fine don't care until you've actually experienced what we experienced as a family last mm. year, you will never understand where we're coming from. So shh. 
DNA testing needs to be made mandatory before any man signs Perfect. a birth certificate. Perfect. Plain and simple. Mm. There are far too many men out here who are being forced, because it is forced, they weren't given a choice. Facts. To take care of children who they never even fathered in the first Listen, place. Listen, I can just tell you one thing. If I were to find out that my wife cheated on me with another man and I've been taking care of this man's kid, I hope, I hope, and I can just say like right now, I'm very grateful that God has always been good to me. When it comes to women and every like he has been super good to me like most of the women which i've dated have been really really good women the impact that falsified paternity has on men as a woman you will never understand mm. i will never understand because it's not you that's going through it but i can tell you having watched this unfold in my eyes that mm. the impact is detrimental and sometimes there's no coming back and women are responsible for this kind of feels like Maybe her mom did this to her dad. Kind of feels like it. Because personally, usually they're like, eh, I, I, I understand, but this feels a little personal. Ones that know full well that that man is not the father of their children and they have not communicated that. Statistically, you cannot actually state how many men have mm. experienced falsified paternity. Oh. Hmm, why Facts. is Facts. From an interpretivist perspective, the reason why you cannot actually pinpoint statistically how many men experience falsified paternity is because a lot of men hide in shame. They go through this trauma and this mm. pain quietly because they have no one to talk to, no one that understands where they're coming from, and they're embarrassed because really, in your head, you're probably thinking, how could you have been such a fool? Yes, that is very true because a lot of good men felt as if the whole town was already laughing at them anyway. Everyone knew it wasn't his child. He knew it wasn't his child. But back in the day in the early 80s and 90s, DNA testing really wasn't a thing. Like, he couldn't go get a test done and approve it so he just got to work put his head down and just never said anything about it but of course on the inside it was killing you me. are shaking <laughs> i know <laughs> i feel your nervousness from here are you okay yes yeah no, i am mr bennett you are not the father Mr. Kaiser, you are not the father. I'm sorry, Mr. Kaiser. You sure? You know what's so interesting? Women have this thing of giving you the world and then taking it away from you just to test you. That is the worst thing that you can do to a human being. It's the worst. Taking a man's kids from him. Woman's always going to be connected to the kids. But it's another thing when a person has been closed their whole life. And then they finally open up. They finally feel safe enough to open up. Right? And then, bam, life hits them. When they're, when they're at their weakest, they find this out, right? And then something like the message goes through the brain that says, ah, that's why I should never be vulnerable. Oh, you're so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. You gotta be a mistake, right? It's a mistake, right? I am so sorry. A woman found out that her husband got a secret paternity test due to pressure from his family because of their daughter's darker skin color and curly hair. She posted to the Relationship Advice subreddit where she revealed that she's Brazilian-American, but her husband is Serbian and very fair. When their daughter started developing her darker skin, his entire family made jokes about him not being the father. This mom found paternity test results in his phone and questioned him about it. And the dad revealed that his family was accusing her of cheating and pushed for the paternity test. On a daily basis, they were in this man's ear. He claims he got the paternity test to shut his family up. 
but he did it behind her back and now she's hurt and angry about it she feels betrayed by his family who she thought truly loved and cherished her and her daughter she's also convinced that her husband doesn't trust her and can't decide whether or not she should let it go but the fact of the matter is if you don't trust your spouse the first person you should be talking to is your spouse there is an expectation that your spouse will have your back which includes stopping baseless attacks from extended family members if this dad truly had concerns about his daughter's paternity he should have discussed it with his wife getting a secret paternity test that might cause some problems when it comes to light what would you do in this situation i'm here to tell you that if you ever find yourself in that position as a man look you are not a fool mm. and you are not wherever else you call yourself okay you are literally a victim alongside mm. those children in this situation and you see that woman she's gonna burn in hell nothing good mm. ever comes from bad just remember that i love women like this which hold other women accountable women will never understand how it feels like to not know whether a child is theirs or not so honestly i think paternity tests should just be mandatory because men there's too many times where men experience the kid not being theirs and at that point it's like we won't ever understand that feeling we'll never even understand the doubt so why why shouldn't it be mandatory that's something that sh it should be a right if it was just something that was mandatory, it should just be no argument, no nothing. If it's his child, it's his child. And if it's not, there's just so much more that goes into just like knowing who you are and your identity based off of both of your parents. Like, I was just thinking about it because there was a video that went viral about a man that went to jail for not playing child support for a child that wasn't even his. And I'm like, are you kidding me right now?